What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here with another Let's Build at the Egrets Tour Marina. Let's take a look at our map real quick and see where that is. It's actually in the bottom third, kind of like right in the middle of the map, I guess, in the bottom third section. It is located directly south of the Mass Pike Tunnel West, and uh, there it is right on the water. The, uh, the Coast Guard Pier is somewhere up in here. I should actually go discover that at some point because it would be a closer landmark. Anyway, uh, so we are kicking off part two of our Let's Build series here at the marina. And I had a question from uh, Kevin on YouTube about this uh, shack wall with roof and how it glitched into that building and if it was going to interfere with the interior. So let's run up real quick and we will see. This is the... This is as far over as we can go, so no, it is not going to interfere at all with it, Kevin. But thanks for the question. I certainly appreciate that, and um, because we don't want that, you know, poking through and stuff like that. I put my bed there. All right, so in this episode, we're going to be putting together uh, some uh, some vendor stalls in this area over here, and um, and we'll get into the rest of it later. But yeah, four vendor stalls and. Uh, it's kind of a cool little design that I think I've come up with. Uh, some variations on um, things that I've done in the past and some other great YouTubers have done. And if we position this just right, then we can really take advantage of that space. Let's put this down here. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. Now the question is, is it going to kick over enough? Okay, so anyway, let's get this ball rolling. We're going to take these stairs and we're going to snap them to that edge. We're going to put another set of stairs up here. We'll move them into a better position later. Went too far out. Now I need to grab a rail. Snap a rail there. I'll leave that there for now. So what we're trying to do is get the back side of these stairs right along that edge and as close to that rail as possible. I'm not worried about the angle. Actually, a, a, a better angle, a steeper angle is actually better because it's going to kick it out more. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's grab a small floor here and then we're going to grab another shack foundation pier and it's going to go there. And that should get, get, give us, yep, that will certainly give us enough room back there. Okay, so now we're going to grab these stairs and we're going to repeat this entire process. Now why I put these stairs here, if you guys don't know, the reason I do that is so that these stairs won't snap as easily to that edge. If those stairs weren't there, for instance, they're going to want to snap to an edge. I can't just put it up here as I want it to. So, put the stairs there to avoid the snapping problem with these stairs. And we'll grab our rail again. That's, oh man, that's, that's glorious. Grab that. I need to stop saying that word. See, and I may be out too far. Who knows? Let's see. Can... Oh, shit. I had it. Get the... There. Nope. I got room. Okay. One last time. We're a little tall now, so we'll just jump up here. It's going to look grand, simply grand. And now we want our floor. Now the thing that we want to be mindful of, we want to be mindful of the neighbors, of course we don't want to make too much noise. Um, no, we're going to have junk fence here, so we want to make sure that um, we're going to be able to fit everything into place. And we may be kind of tight. I'll have to look at that later. Because 
This isn't where our store is going to go. This is where our store is going to go. And you're going to be a little bitch. Get down here. There. Okay, we should be okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm, maybe. Because what I'm going to do a little bit different than I've done before is I'm going to use one of these. Where is it? That one. Yeah, we may run into some problems there. Shite. <sighs> well, we'll fix it right now. I'm trying to keep these videos short for you guys, so I'm not like, oh look, it's a, it's a coon's age. Yeah, that's a oh, shit. If if that is a coon's age, if that isn't some Texas thing, I don't know what the hell is. All right, so we'll 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 alter up our uh, our angle here. That may give us a little bit more room. So let's take a look at that. What the hell? I should kick my own ass or something. That might be a little bit better. You know what? That might be okay. Because if I go with... Man, this is not what I really wanted to be doing, but I need to double check that. I do not want that getting in the way. We will find the... See, that is probably the thinnest junk fence that we'll be able to squeeze in there. So let's make sure that that's going to fit first. Oh, and just so you guys know, full disclosure, this is the third time that I've recorded this damn video. So yes, I know what I'm building. Okay, but of course it changes every time. Oh, why did I do it that way? I didn't do it from the backside. And at a good angle. Um, yeah, the... The last time, I didn't actually record shit. I thought I had it recording, but it wasn't recording. And, um... There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, plenty of room. So, yeah, I went through the whole damn process. Oh, shit, what was I worried about? There's plenty of room there. Um, so, yeah, I went through the entire process, built the whole damn thing, went to take it into post-production and, and sync the audio and the video and all that good stuff and realize that it wasn't recording at all. So yeah. Okay. Now let's get up here. So yes, needless to say, I know exactly what I want to go where. <laughs> but because, you know, you don't have any strict measurements or anything like that, uh, it certainly... Um, can be cause for... Do I want that one? No, I want to go... Oh, let's go that one there. Um, can certainly be a pain in the ass. Let's get that over. Get rid of that. Don't need the stairs no more. Delete the stairs, not the, uh, the shack foundation roof or floor. Okay, so I'm changing this up a little bit. Instead of doing the normal railing across the front, we're going to try doing this with a door. Sometimes this works. In, in my first recording, I got it to work. In my second, not so much. So let's see how uh, third time's a charm works. Come on. Ooh. Is that good enough? Holy crap, that's good enough. I'm going to leave it there. Woo -wee. Now let's see if I can get a damn roof on this place. Oh, it will. All right. So, do I go with the big one that I normally go with for a vendor stall, or do I go with the shorter one? Let's go with the shorter one, but I don't like all the holes that are in it, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other little glitchy thing that I know. Get it to fall into place. Oh, I had it. Come on, get it in there. I don't know why that's so difficult. Oh, it's just there. There it is. There. Now we don't have nearly as many holes up there. Much better. And we got railings on both sides. I'm very happy about that. So now let's come in here. We'll grab our little caps for our shack wall with roof. Put that there. And put this other one here. there. 
Really? Hey, Bethesda, if you're listening, all these flat wall sections over here should be with the flat wall section that, that's at the front. Or move the flat wall section that's at the front back here with these. And the outer cap walls, they should all be together too. I don't care if this one's all wood. This one's all wood. Well, no, this one's not even all wood. It has sheet metal on it. And then you got the one over here at the beginning that has a, a shit ton of sheet metal on it. My favorite wall that I've talked about before. Why are... <laughs> There are three similar walls in the fact that how they're built. Why are they at opposite ends of this damn list? And why are uh, doors... First off, why is there only one kind of door? That's kind of chicken shit. I know that you're coming out with some more in the patch, which I can't wait for. Come on, 1.4. Um, anyway. I need to put a rail on the front. Um, it would be nice if we could kind of organize this a little bit. Because I would certainly organize my list a little bit better than Bethesda has. Which is sad. Did no one think about that the entire time that they were developing this game? Hey, let's make these these lists intuitive a little bit. See, and that's going to be real close. And that's kind of what I wanted. Should be able to throw that up. Oh yeah, where it's like almost touching. Oh, okay. That's nice there. I like it. I'll stick with that. And I don't know if I'm going to have... I don't know. Actually, I don't want to put a big wall on this one. I want to just go with a flat. Um, I probably go... Let's see if we can go with this one. There we go. Yeah, this should be okay. Alright, let's throw some railing on this deck here. And let's see if we can get, again, in one video I got them to fit perfect. One video they, I had to fight with them for 10 minutes. I certainly don't want to fight with them for 10 minutes. I'm trying to make these videos <clears throat> short for you guys, but still be a live play instead of uh, looking around, looking like I'm running on PsychoJet. Um, because I'm just trying something different. Come on. It, please masking nicely you suck maybe if I try that side first let's try that let's spin that Get this because this always seems to be the bad side that I'm trying to get to work right maybe because it's always the second side that I'm trying to work on This one. Okay, if this thing just slots into place, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, close. So close. I saw you there. Come on. You went green for like a half a millisecond. There it is. Ha ha! So you guys don't understand. In the other recording, I had to go without one of these side rails because I couldn't get these sons of bitches to work right. You just don't get it. It's okay. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I went to a four-year-old's birthday party uh, today. And uh, it was actually a lot of fun. I was family, you know. Um, we sit around and bullshit. What the hell am I doing over in metal? Roofs, please. Thank you. Uh, but yeah. You know, we sit around and talk, and the kids were playing and face painting and riding horses, and you know, the, the all the little girls were getting pony face painting, and all the boys were like, "Oh, we don't want pony face painting. We want Spider Man." And one kid wanted to be a zombie. I was like, "Yes, that's my family right there." Um, one of the other great benefits of uh, having awesome family members is that they have. Uh, wonderful friends that show up to these parties as well and uh, these friends are very very pretty <laughs> now of course they're all married it's my luck that they are all uh otherwise taken oh that's not going to go on either side that sucks <clears throat> um but that doesn't mean that i can't appreciate the fact that uh, there are beautiful women running around so um there's always that 
And that's not going to fit there. Hmm. Damn. I didn't want to do that. See, this is the... Because nothing is a sure thing. We'll go with... Um, we'll go with over there. We'll go with the sheet metal one. So we'll go with the little one over here. There we go. But this one... Do I want to do every, one, every other one with the door? No. I do not. We'll make it look a little... Alright. Take two of the... Um, the railing size. There we go. Set that one there. So yeah. Hung out with family for a few hours. Got hopped up on cop on cupcakes and uh, then I came home to shoot this video the first time. Promptly fell asleep on the couch. I was coming down from the sugar rush from all the cupcakes. Apparently I really needed a nap. So I took a nap. Woke up all refreshed. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this done. Something screwed up the first time. I'm like, shit, I'll have to reshoot this whole thing. And then, uh, then the second time I realized that I didn't actually record anything. I had audio. But I did not have any video. Kind of hard to make a video for YouTube when you don't actually shoot any damn video. And that worked really, really well. Alright. Uh, so, let's see here. What am I doing? Grabbing a door. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, I'm having a wonderful weekend. I'm enjoying this new microphone. I think it sounds great. And I um, hope you guys are liking it too. I mean, I know it's a huge difference. Now, right now, I've got the... Uh, I've got my headset plugged into the actual microphone. There is a jack on the back of it that allows me to monitor the, uh, the audio as I'm speaking into the mic, which is nice. It's great. I love it. Um, but I'm hearing the the sharp hits of the S's, the pops, uh, the P's, and stuff like that. And um, But I noticed that when I took it into, uh, into my software to edit it down, that there was nothing there. I mean, it sounded great on the, on the computer. And so I said, all right, I'll leave it there. Yeah, and I like how tight that is up against that wall. And I should maybe have enough room. Nope, that pole's just in the way. That sucks. Do I want to take out that pole? Hmm, do I want to take out that pole? Should I have a pole about taking out the pole? Or should I just take out the pole? I'm just going to take out the pole. Because these two don't have the extra real storage space. So I at least want this building to have it. So, sorry, Pole. You gotta go. But I got a lot of resources out of it. Wow, did you see all that shit that popped out of there? See, now I know I couldn't put two. That would have been nice, but no. Alright, so that'll work well. Let's throw the caps on these things. Told that my rambling was okay, so I'm going to ramble. Um, let's see what I oh, I'm doing the door on this one. Wow, I didn't put a roof on that one. I suck. There we go. All right, shorter roof on this one. I'm gonna do the door thing in the front again. Mm -hmm. Yes, doing the door thing on the front. So shorter roof, and then I want to put the flat roof in there. I'm gonna get in there. Come on. It's your home. Get in your home. There it is. Ooh, crossbeam. Ah, screw it. Right there. That'll be cool. Man, that sure does fill in that, that elevated roof a whole hell of a lot better. Thank you, Mark, for pointing that out. Uh, if you guys don't know, I did tips and tricks on, uh, about that very thing. Uh, my buddy Mark, who is actually uh, my cousin's husband... But I've known Mark long before they were ever married or together or anything like that. Mark has been a, a friend of mine for a very long time. And, um... Damn, that worked out too well again. It's scary. Um... 
Yeah, Mark showed that to me the other day. He he literally drove to my house and said, "Okay, turn on the game. I have something that, that I want to show you." And that was what it was. Stick the flat roof inside the elevated roof. It only works on that shorter roof. It doesn't work on this taller roof here, which is a bummer. Um, it may work on a couple other ones, but I don't I don't use all the other roofs. I should. I talk about you know mixing stuff up, but those just look so cool. So all right, let's put a. Uh, here. Put this on the front. All right, now let's take a step back and see what we have created. We have created all these stands, and um, we're just about finished here. But we have to put access to the back, and because we're gonna have junk fences and stuff back here, we don't want ladders sticking way out. I want to make sure that the AI has plenty of uh, maneuverability. So, we will stick these on here. More there. We'll grab some stairs. And of course, I like the wide ones because they fill out the plank. And I have a hard enough time not falling off of those, much less the skinnier ones. I know. It's weird. And here's another thing that I don't really care for very much. Like, I can put that railing there. But why can't I put this railing here? I mean, seriously, it snapped. I mean, see, that's the problem. See, it snaps just. There's that little bit of overhang right there. Right there. And that's why that damn railing won't snap on there. It should glitch right in. Seriously, it, it should. Because now I can't put railing there and my guys can walk off the edge. They won't. But still. Still upsetting. All right, um, don't need anything there. Now what the plans are, I think, is I'm gonna turn this section back here. I'm gonna build another building back here. Uh, that may be my next let's build, is building out this area, ripping out this fence here, and just kind of building in this area. I'm going to build the, um, essentially a house for my vendors so that they don't have to worry about going through here. And, uh, but it will be totally isolated from the rest of the settlement. Because all they ever need to do is go to bed and go get in their stall. All right, so let's finish out the railing sections here. Let's throw this up there. There we go. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to create a, a little house back there for them um, so that they have a place to hang out when they're not working. And um, But that way they don't have to come walking through here and then go through the gate to get to where they have to sleep and stuff. So that may be section three or episode three, or I may work over here and work with the new thing that I just picked up today. I tried picking up, uh, well, look, I, I went through and I, um, I didn't get the, um, I didn't get statues yet, but I did go through and actually pick up the picket fences. I'm not talking about the magazine, well, I am talking about the magazine, but I'm talking about the magazine that gives me picket fences. And I also picked up the magazine for, oh shit, I don't know what else. Anyway, the other thing that I picked up, if we come over here to resources and go to miscellaneous, I picked up the trade caravan post. I'm not going to talk about the mission that you need to do. Well, it's actually two missions, I believe. Uh, you can start those in Bunker Hill. Go talk to Deb. She's wearing the red rocket jumpsuit. Uh, talk to Deb to start that mission, and then you can pick these up. And this is where all the caravans will congregate. And I believe if you set those up, you actually make more money in your vendor stalls. From what I've heard, I could be totally wrong. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this video. I hope we got this all put together. I got my stairs in there. Good. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, leave them down in the comment section below. Um, I am on Twitter now, at Draco underscore Invictus. 
Uh, I have a Facebook page uh, set up. There's nothing on it at this point. Um, it's going to be another uh, feed for YouTube, so my videos will show up there as well. Uh, so if you want to get the head start and go over and like that page, you're more than welcome to. Uh, like I said, there's nothing there right now, but I plan on getting it filled out. Of course, um, you can tweet me. You can private message me on Twitter. Uh, you can private message me on Facebook. You can't do much in YouTube other than leave a uh, leave a comment. And but of course, I check all the social media. I reply to comments, and we have wonderful discussions. And um, so, Kevin, thanks for your question about the uh, that shack wall with roof going into that building. That was a great catch on that part. And um, if you guys uh, need anything from me, just let me know. And I will have part three out. See, this was supposed to be out earlier on Saturday evening. And now it looks like it's not actually going to get posted to YouTube until very early Sunday morning. Because I have to go into post and, and sync my audio together. And then I have to render it. And then I have to upload it. And the uploading always takes for fucking ever. Uh, so this probably will not be up until very early Sunday morning, but I plan on working on something Sunday midday to get up Sunday evening. Then I will be caught back up with my original plan of starting last Wednesday and then got offset. So then after Sunday, it will be next Wednesday with another Let's Build and then uh, Friday and then Sunday again. And I'm going to sprinkle in maybe some tips and tricks or something like that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below uh, for a lot of great content coming up. And um, as new games are coming out, I will explore them, uh, putting them on the channel or you know, creating another playlist for them and stuff like that. Uh, right now, I'm having a blast in Fallout 4, uh, having a great time making these videos on the uh, settlement building and tips and tricks and stuff like that and uh, even gaming news. I created a new sub uh, a playlist for uh, gaming news. I was so excited about that. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, give me a, a holler. And until next time, Wastelanders, take care of yourselves out there. This is Jureko Invictus saying see ya.